Well, the Mac Mini M4 has great power, yet the port layout can feel limited when you add fast SSDs and capture gear. That is why we spent time with two docks that approach the problem differently. The Pull Top Dock handles basic expansion with an underside SSD slot, while the Giwokli USB 4 dock brings USB 4, stronger cooling, and a vertical stand. Each one fits a different kind of user, and the contrast becomes clearer the more we test them. Let's get started. And right away, the first difference shows up in how each one sits on the desk. The pull top dock hugs the base of the Mac Mini and keeps everything flat and familiar. The finish blends well with the Mini, which gives the whole setup a simple look. Then we place the Giwokli beside it, which takes a bold turn with that vertical layout. Your Mac stands upright, which frees space and gives quicker access to the ports. Both feel well built. The pull top goes for a lighter body with a clean aluminum shell, while the Giwokli feels thicker and more rigid, which makes sense since it holds the Mac vertically. And once we place our Mac on each dock, the stability feels solid on both ends. Nothing rattles, nothing bends, and the alignment stays clean. Now we move toward ports, and this is where the gap grows. On the pull top, we have two USB-A 2.0 ports at the front, which makes it easy to pop in a card reader or a wireless dongle. The HDMI at the back pushes 4K60 without a hiccup. The Wi-Fi stays clean because those ports avoid signal interference, which we appreciate when we move the Mac farther from the router. Then we move over to the Gawakli, and the whole thing feels more direct. Two USB-C 10 gigabit per second ports sit right in front of us, which lets us plug an SSD or a portable monitor without reaching around. The USB 4 port at 40 gigabits per second changes the tone of the setup. You drop in a Thunderbolt drive and the speed bump is immediate. The SD 4.0 and microSD 4.0 slots work faster, which helps when we dump clips from cameras. The pull top keeps things simple and stable. The Gawakli opens room for heavier accessories and faster workflows. Besides ports, both docks give you internal SSD expansion, and that is where the tone shifts again. The puller top supports NVMe up to 4 terabytes at around 10 gigabits per second, which means strong real-world speeds for photo work, project backups, and even some light editing. We tested a 1 terabyte NVMe, and it stayed cool and stable. Then we slide an NVMe into the Giwokli, and the jump to USB 4 becomes clear. It reaches 40 gigabits per second, which pushes far higher transfer rates. Editing 4K footage directly from the SSD feels natural, and large files move fast with no hiccups. So if storage speed is a key part of your workflow, the Giwokli clearly stretches further. However, this comparison is not only about numbers, it is about how each dock feels once you plug everything in and start your day. The pull top behaves like a helpful base. You drop the Mac on it, connect one cable and your keyboard, mouse, SD card reader, and monitor stay ready. Nothing overcomplicates the setup and the desk still looks clean. Then we switch to the Giwokli and the setup changes in a different way. The vertical stand saves real space, which gives the desk a lighter feel. The ports stay within reach without bending behind the Mac, and the built-in SSD slot stays cooler because of the open airflow. If you handle large drives, dual setups or constant transfers, this layout feels more natural. Also, cooling matters more than we sometimes expect with docks. The pull top stays warm but controlled. That small gap under the Mac lets air pass, which keeps temps in check. We never saw any drop in USB speeds or signal issues. The Giwokli takes cooling more seriously with a full aluminum body and ventilation across the base. Even after long edit sessions, the heat never reaches a point where the dock feels stressed. There is no fan in either dock and both stay silent, which keeps the desk peaceful. Now we reach the part that decides things for many people. The pull top sits around the $80 to $100 range, which makes it far easier on the wallet. For that price, you get a clean stand, simple ports, 
and NVMe support up to four terabytes. If your workflow stays light to medium, it gives solid value. The Gawakli sits closer to $129 on sale and $159 full price. You pay more, but you also get USB 4, faster SSD speeds, better SD performance, stronger build, and a space-saving stand. If your workflow relies on fast transfers and heavy accessories, the extra cost feels justified. So, after living with both, here is where we land. The Pulwu Top Dock feels right for users who want a clean, simple, dependable base that keeps the Mac Mini flat and familiar. It gives enough ports for day-to-day -day use, and it adds internal storage without pushing your budget. The Giwokli Dock feels right for users who want a workstation feel from a small Mac Mini. The vertical stand saves space, the USB 4 port opens real performance headroom, and the SSD enclosure runs fast enough for full creative work. It costs more, yet it offers a wider range of use cases. If your setup stays light and you just want order and storage, the Pull Top makes sense. If you edit, transfer heavy files, or prefer a faster and more complete hub, the Giwokli becomes the better long-term pick. So that was all from us. Thanks for watching. Share your thoughts in the comments. And if you found it helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more videos.